Today I hit the slopes with Anouk Wissel, Francois Samar, and Johan Kao Wissel, the writing directing trio behind Turbo Kid. So uh, you guys had the premiere last night of Turbo Kid. How did it go? Fantastic. It was incredible. I, I think Sundance has one of the greatest audience of, of, of the whole world. <laughs> They're amazing. They, they gave back to us so much. It, it was really something special. Now you guys, you guys are a writing team and directing team. All three of you co-wrote and co-directed this film, but you've had 20 shorts before that. How long have you guys been working together? 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. yeah, and me and Anouk are brother and sister, and Francois and Anouk are a couple. Aww. So that's 15 <laughs> years. So we, with the years, we developed like that weird hive mind that we share one brain. Yeah. So we, we know each other so much. Yeah, and we always work like that. So we want to keep that spirit, like making movies like with friends. What's the secret behind your chemistry? Is, do you ever have moments where you want to pull each other's hair out? All the time. <laughs> it's, especially when we're writing. Usually we argue and we, we yell at each other sometimes, but it always lasts about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we come, oh no, wait, I, I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. And let me re-explain what I'm saying. It's, okay. Everything works out. We need to like the story, like the three of us. Yeah. And that way the story is better. Yeah. And yeah, after that on set, we're on, we're on the same page and everything goes well. Now, Turbo Kid is kind of a genre film. How would you describe this film for uh, audience goers? It, it's a BMX gore <laughs> apocalyptic love story. So. Love story. Okay, that's a lot of different things squeezed all into one. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really hard to describe. Yeah. Like, uh, it's very charming. There's a love story. Uh -huh. like, that's the heart of the story. But set in a very violent world with like decapitation and gore, blood everywhere. <laughs> so, so do you, um, you, who was your lead actor in this film? Uh, it's the amazing Monroe Chamber. Uh, that kid is just incredible. Like, he's an amazing actor. He's been playing in Degrassi the last couple of years, and yeah. he has a lot of projects now lined up for him. And he's just, to have him on set every day, it's, it was just fantastic. Now you guys shot this in Canada and yeah. you had a lot of Canadians and Kiwis cast in the project, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a co-production Canada, New Zealand. So we needed some actors to come from New Zealand, some actors to be from Canada, so everything was equal. What were some of the biggest challenges of working in the cold? Uh, equipment breaking, like yeah. pumpkin and props. Yeah. And we do, we do a lot of blood effects, so blood would breathe <laughs> in the... <laughs> in the in the pipes and blow up and oh, it was, yeah, it was challenging. <laughs> it was complicated. You guys, where did you come up with the idea for this movie? Uh, it all started. Uh, well, we've done many genre and we explored many styles of film, but we've never done a post-apocalyptic film. Yeah, and we really love uh, the, the, the whole Mad Max and all the Italian ripoff of those films. And we wanted to play with the, 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 the style, but bring our own view of it and have a heart to the story. It's yeah. really a love story at the middle of it. Yeah, and we, we thought it would be fun also to mix in like this uh, movie. We saw as kids like the Goonies and BMX Bandit, so we kind of wanted to mismatch this together. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and so play with uh, nostalgia. Yeah. That's a, like, yeah, it's that's a movie for your inner child. It's, it's <laughs> definitely. If you grew up in the 80s, it's, it's going to speak to you. Awesome. And you, being independent filmmakers and making over 20 shorts, um, I'm sure you guys have learned so many tricks of the trade and ways to save money and get really cool shots on budgets. Are there is there any one particular scene or setup that you guys want to share with other independent filmmakers of a way that you got something really cool by thinking outside of the box to keep within your budget? Oh, well, we used to do our own props and our own special effects, so like, to know how they work at, at, at the base, you know how to shoot for them. And no, that, that definitely helps. Get your hands dirty. Yeah. Put your hands in the plate. <laughs> Mold fake hands. Like, filmmaking is, is problem solving nonstop. On set, everybody was our brother and sister. So everybody, it was a tough shoot because of time, but everybody came together and believed in the project and made it happen. Yeah, everybody so. were, were happy to come on set every day, even with the cold, even with the, the limitation we had, and it was incredible. Well, thanks so much, guys. It was an awesome interview, and good luck with the film. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Join us at How We Make Movies tomorrow on studiodaily.com.
Com, we'll be sitting down with first-time director Matt Sorbels to talk about his film, Take Me to the River.